All right, now this is where we left off. And as you can see here, uh, we've got our two web components here in our, within our DOM. And we've got this regular HTML tag, which is just a button. And um, I've created this web component right here. And now let's say that I want to reuse that web component within another project. If I want to do that, then the recommended way by Stencil is to publish an npm package and publishing a npm package might seem like a daunting test if you've never done it before but it's actually very straightforward so i will show you the process of publishing an npm package and um, after that we will reuse that web component in another project to make sure that what we're trying to do actually works so before publishing an npm package, it's usually best practice to test the package locally first. And in order to do that, I will create a new directory within my projects directory. So I will say make there npm package test project. And I will cd into that. And I will open it with VS Code. And in here, I just, first of all, just want to create a new index.html and add the basic HTML structure. And now here's a little recommendation if you haven't installed it already. So if you're just trying to test uh, single HTML files or projects like that that don't have a framework or anything then um, I would recommend an extension called live server as you can see here that's the extension so and once you've installed that then you've got this button down here where it says go live and if you say go live then it will open up a port on your local host and it will show your index html file right now it's empty but if i added some text to it then it would also add hot reload so let's say within the body i would add a div and it would say test now i can go back and here i can see that it added test so it's pretty neat if you haven't installed it go install live server I've got it right here within my project. So now the task is to load my web component into this new project that I have right here. I'm going to pull up my integrated terminal within VS Code. Now I want to install my stencil.js project as an npm package locally. How can I do that? Well, I can say npm install just like I usually do. Now I want to add the path to the directory where my project is located so i will go up one level i will say slash and now my project is called stencil js yt tutorial and if i hit enter i might have misspelled it let's try again npm i go up say stencil okay so it for some reason it seemed to work so it says package not found but then it updated a package and if I go here now I can see that I've also got a node modules folder and I've also got uh, the source where I've got my components where I've got my button I've got my component and so on and so on so it seemed to work let's hope for the best now the next thing that I need to do is I need to import my module and for that I'm going to use the script tag. I'm going to say type module, say src. And now I need a different uh, source of course because I need the node modules. I will go to stencil.js yt tutorial in here i've got my dist folder in there i got that folder again and in here now i can use my esm module this right here 
close the tag and now I should be able to load my web component within this new project. So let's try it. Say L4 button and I will give it a button text. It says L4 button. Now let's switch back to Chrome and take a look if it worked. And as you can see here, it worked. So I've got my web component loaded into this new project. Just like I would expect it to be. So this means that my NPM package is fully working and I can now publish it to the NPM registry. So let me switch back to VS Code. I can close that testing project and now I've got my project where I've built my web component in here. So let me just stop the server for a second and empty the console. So creating an NPM package is actually pretty straightforward, but you have to be registered at NPM. So you can just go to npmjs.com and click sign up if you're not a member yet, or you can sign in if you're already a member. And on the console, you also have to be logged in. So you can type in NPM, log in, and they will ask for your credentials. My name is Lee, that's why I'm called Bruce Lee. Password is secret. <laughs> and uh, you can all see my email address. Then they will send you a one-time password, which is being sent to your email. And you enter that, and now you're logged in. And now that all that is left is for you to say npm publish, and you can hit enter. And in the preparation for this video, I've already tried to publish it and then I've deleted my package. And now it says that I cannot publish a package with the same name for 24 hours. See, it's forbidden. Uh, they've got a security policy, so you should be aware of that. That's why I have to rename my package. And that's what I also want to show you, how you can name your packages. So if you go to package.json, and if you go up here to name, this is actually where you set the name of your npm package. So since this name is already forbidden for 24 hours, I will just rename it to, let's say, L4 stencil chess tutorial right and now i can hit npm publish and it should work as you see now it worked with this name and if i go to npm and sign in i should see my package being published so now i'm logged in to npm i can go to my profile and it will say packages and those are some packages that I tried before, uh, just some te test packages, but this is the one that I've just published a few seconds ago. And now if I click on that package, I will see a detailed page of my NPM package. And just like if, if you've been working with NPM before, you're very familiar with this page, so you can add some description. You also have this NPM install button right here. But also if you publish an NPM package, your uh, the NPM package will also be available on a CDN, which is called cdn.jsdelivery. Net. And if you go here, you will be able to find all publicly available NPM packages. Now let me search for L4 Stencil JSYT tutorial, and that is available here because I published my NPM package, right? And now I can see here uh, the file structure of my package, and I can come here, I can go there, and I can click on that same path that I've used before in, within my uh, test project. And now all that is left to do is just copy this link right here and switch back to my test project that I've used before. Not that one. I've worked in here before. And now instead of using this path for the source of my uh, module, I will use the path of that CDN that I just copied, right? So I will enter that. And in here, I will get the ES module from this CDN right here. 
So if I save that, and in the meantime, I stop the server, so I will have to start my server again. It will go live. It will open up this window. And he, you can see here that now uh, my button is working again, and I'm using that module from a public free CDN. So that's the way that you can reuse your components that you have built with Stencil within any project. And just to test another project, I will now create a Laravel project and I will just add my web component from Stencil within that Laravel project as well. So I'm here in my projects directory. I will say Laravel new and I will call it component test. Now that I have created it, I will CD into my component test directory and I will open it with code and I will close this project right here. And I'm using Laravel Valet, so I can just enter the name of my project and add a dot test to it. And now I have, I can see my project right here. And I've got my VS code right there. And to show my web component, all I need to do is go to, uh, to my welcome.blade in this case. And within the head, I can just add the script tag. And add the source to it. Let me switch back to my CDN, to copy the path to my, to my module. And now I will close the script tag and now I can just add my button somewhere somewhere here within the body let me add it right here now I will say l4 button and I will say button text it will say click me close that tag and now I will switch back to Chrome and if I re refresh the page, you can see right here that my button is available and it has the same functionality that we've implemented before. So it doesn't look very good, of course, but everything is working correctly and as expected. And that is how web components work and how you can reuse them in different projects. So, and I think that is a very, very neat solution to the problem that sometimes you build components that are only reusable in within the same project but you cannot use them across different projects in the future i'm planning to create a tutorial where we can build a uh, more complex component just to make use of all of the decorators and all of those life cycle events or life cycle methods that stencil offers so if you don't want to miss that make sure to click the like and subscribe and thank you for watching see you next time bye bye